everyone. We are making this double sided rattle. So it has a rattle insert here and another one here. And it's very, very limp because the idea is that I want my baby to be able to basically wave it around and it's very floppy. Um, it's very simple to make, so I hope you enjoy watching the video. So what I'm going to need for this project are three different types of yarn, a 3.5mm hook, something to cut, a couple of rattles, and just some scrap fabric so that I can encase the rattles to make it a bit safer. To start with, I'm going to put some fabric around my rattles. And because I'm not so good with the machine yet, I left it the scrap as a square and now I'm going to cut it so that it's going to take less space once I've put it inside my rattle. With my rattle inserts ready, I can now start on my rattle. So, as usual, I'm going to start with slip knot and then chain two. After which I'm going to do six double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So one. The next row is going to be two double crochets in each stitch. One. Two. One, two, and then move all the way around. And next row, I'm going to do five stitches with just one double crochet each, followed by two double crochets in the sixth stitch. For this row, I'm going to do six stitches with one double crochet, followed by one stitch with two double crochets. So one, two, three, four. Two double crochets in next. Here, seven stitches with one double crochet and one stitch with two double crochets. Now I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch. So now I'm ready to start decreasing. And um, so I'm going to do the exact reverse of what I've been doing so far. So every single uh, row that I increase, I'm now going to decrease. So I'm going to start with seven stitches in which I'm going to put double crochets and then one decrease after that. So one, two, three, 
Okay. So, five, six, and seven. And then do one decrease, which you do by just pulling the yarn over but not finishing. And then pulling the yarn over from the next stitch. And then when you have three loops, pull the yarn over through all of them. If you're still not sure how to do the decrease, um, I'm putting a link to a video I made earlier so that you can see it much more clearly. So following the pattern, now I'm going to do six stitches with double crochets followed by one decrease. decrease. As you can see, my opening is narrowing a bit, so I think I'm going to put my rattle insert in right now, so that it can still fit in. Great. There we go. Now I'm doing five double crochets, followed by one decrease. So now I'm actually going to do two stitches with one double crochet each and then one decrease. So one, one, and two. So we do a decrease here. One, one, and decrease here. And one, one, and the last decrease here. I'm going to do a row of one double crochet in each stitch, but I'm not going to finish my last stitch as I want to change the colour here. Now I'm going to use a slip stitch to change my colour. Um, so I'm going to pull the hook through. But instead of using my existing yarn, I'm going to take the new yarn and pull it through to create a slip stitch. Then I'm going to tighten all the yarn and try to yarn these in while going around. Now it is quite tricky because it is quite tight now, so I'll try to stick my finger in there and go one, Oops. two, to get rid of the old yarn and the excess new yarn and basically just carry on with one double crochet in each stitch for quite a while um, until I'm satisfied with the length of the handle. So 
I'm now just finishing row 31, which is the last stitch. I'm going to change the color again. So, I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to do two stitches one with one double crochet each and then one with an increase. So one and two and then an increase. So two double crochets in one stitch. The next few rows i'm just going to use the pattern on the screen which i have used previously and i'll see you when i get to row 39. at this point i'm going to put my other uh, rattle in and carry on decreasing so five stitches with one double crochet followed by decreasing I'm going to decrease much more, so do two stitches with one double crochet followed by one decrease. So one, two, and then a decrease. And again, one. And then a decrease. Okay, and the last decrease would be every other one. So we do one double crochet and then one decrease. In the last stage, I'm going to skip one and do a slip stitch in the next. So skip this one and do a slip stitch in that one. Now skip this one and do a slip stitch in that one. And now, all I need is to fasten up. So there it is, double-sided battle. It's very simple to make. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.